Hi, I'm Lois Vogel Sharp. Today is September 26, 2017, and I'm up here on the hill because I got woken up this morning and the Lord was going through my mind with a lot of things. And then I went back to sleep and then I woke up again. He was going through my mind with a lot of things. And um, I'm just going to let him talk because I'm up here so he could speak to the people. I had a prophet call me last night, and we spoke for a while on the phone, quite a while on the phone, somebody that I never knew before. And he told me a couple things that um, he wanted to encourage me with. And one of them was that the ministry of a prophet is to lead the people to repentance and to bring them the words of the Lord. And that if the words of the Lord go to the people and they begin to pray and they begin to repent that the Lord will pull back some of the judgments that he's about to send or lighten them or whatever he decides to do because he's God and he does whatever he feels the need to do so he said to me you don't need to feel upset when you put a prophetic word out and then it gets changed up by God if the people have a problem with that that's their problem he said, you just have to be the one that speaks out what God says and have enough confidence in what God has called you to do. And he said to me, it's time for you to rise up and take your position in the body of Christ, which is a prophet of the Lord. And he said, you are one that we are going to follow. And when he said that, I was, wow, what do you, what do you mean? He says, no, he says, I'm telling you, they have to follow you. He said, it's, it's you, but it's Jesus. He says, you, the people have to follow somebody. They don't have um, true, faithful preachers out there and, and prophets of God. There are some, he said, but they need to follow the true prophets of God, and you are one of them. And he said, so you have to take your position and let them follow you and the things that you're telling them because they are words from God. He says, I've listened to many prophets. He says, and I know the real deal when I see it. So he truly encouraged me last night and he made me think on many things that the Lord has been showing my husband and I about my position and what God is want, wants me to do with my life. I'm walking with the Lord 46 years and I've been waiting for 46 years for the ministry called King of Glory Ministries, Psalm 24, that the Lord gave us years ago to have its place in the world. And on a personal level, I've been waiting for God. I mean, I've done things over the years. I've fed the needy. I've preached the gospel. I've seen many, many miracles in my life. But the ministry that God has called me to do, I was prophesied several times that God was going to do something with my life. And it's just now beginning to happen for me. And it's because we have our times, our places, and our ministries, and our purposes. So with that, I want to say to the Father um, to rise me up for his purpose and his plan. I pray for him to make me the Esther that I'm supposed to be. I surrender my life, I surrender my emotions, I sur surrender everything that I am, and I place it in his hands, that he would use me for his glory and for his purpose, that his people would hear his words of truth, and that they would be moved by it, and that they would be healed by it, and that God would have his will, that the body of Christ, the church of Jesus Christ, the bride of Jesus Christ, would rise up and become all that it's meant to be before the return of our Lord. And that's my prayer before God. And I, I, I just put it out to the people and I thank the Lord for everything that he does. This piece of paper was found floating in the water many years ago and anybody that's seen my documentary knows that this was found supernaturally floating in the water by my late husband. And there's a scripture on here that is very powerful in the spirit because it was given supernaturally by God. 
and the Lord told me to read it this morning and when I read this many of you are going to get delivered and set free in your emotions from demonic forces that are hindering your lives because it's given by God and when God speaks something out under the unction of the Spirit in the name of Jesus things happen so I'm gonna read this and it's time for the church to get ready to get filled with the Holy Ghost and to do exactly what the scripture says because it's God it's God that's gonna bring this scripture to life in us for the whole world to see that we are the the children of the Almighty God and we are not to be messed with we walk with the power in the name of Jesus and that is my mission is to bring his love to get us to walk in love and unity and to walk in the power of the Holy Spirit so let me read the scripture I will sprinkle clean water upon you and this is Ezekiel 36 25 through 27 I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols I will cleanse you a new heart also I will give you and a new spirit will I put within you that's the Holy Spirit I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and will give you a heart of flesh I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you shall keep my judgments and do them thus saith the Lord you will keep my judgments and do them because he is sprinkling the clean water upon us and he is cleansing us from all our filthiness and all our idols he is the one doing it why because he's chosen us we are the remnant of his children and we have been chosen by God he called us by name we didn't call him by name I'm chosen to do this because he decided to pick me to do this I don't belong to any group or any organization I just fell in love with Jesus years ago started reading the Bible and God started perfecting me and started teaching me the word I'm considered non-denominational because God doesn't care what denomination you are what he cares about is your heart he looks within your heart because why because that's what he wants our hearts he wants all that we are and our heart is our spirit our being it's what we are is what makes us it's what makes us who we are yeah there are personalities there are different ways that the message comes out because we're individuals and we have personalities but it's the heart of God that he's putting within all of us why so that we could reach the world with his love and show the world that he is love but he also is judge you know Trump our president is saying we will make America great again there's only one way American can be great again and it's if America comes back to God so God gave me this this morning make America faith again that's what he wants to make America faith again like it was in the beginning when our founding fathers did everything with God and did nothing without his approval the country was founded to walk in the statutes of God Almighty not to do its own thing and the problem is that America has strayed away from that has strayed away from God and now the judgment since August 21st has come upon the land and the judgment is coming upon the earth because it is the time for God to stand up from his throne in heaven and speak his words that the world would wake up and listen and know what and know that I am God I am the Lord God I am the one that created you I am the one that can take you to heaven or can send you to eternal damnation I am the one that sent my only son Jesus Christ to come into the world that the world would not be condemned but that the world would be set free I am the one that laid down my son's life on the cross 
for all the world to see and for all the world to mock, but for my believers to accept the message of salvation and become one with me through my spirit. My son did not die on the cross and leave the earth to leave you abandoned. We gave you the spirit, the Holy Spirit, to dwell within your being, to lead you on the paths of righteousness for my name's sake, that, the, that all the world would know that you are mine. And how do they know that you are mine? By your love, by my fruits. I have put my fruits within you that you should show the world who I am as the Father. I have chosen this Esther to rise up during this time. She will rise and rise and rise during the Trump presidency and she will be known throughout the land because I have called her. Go back to March 25th, 2011. My prophet, Kim Clement, gave a prophetic word about a woman rising up. Go back and listen to the words that he spoke and you will see this day that that prophecy is being fulfilled in the name of my son Jesus Christ as my Esther has risen up. She has taken her position on September 23rd in the crown. She has risen up and she will keep rising up because she has a message to bring forth to the nation for healing for all the people to understand the truth of who Jesus is. She has moved her emotions to the sideline so that I could raise her up. And this for her is a struggle. And for all my prophets is a struggle. The enemy does not want my prophets to rise up, but they are all gathering together. The other prophet that is out there right now the one, the military man, has also contacted my Esther because he also has recognized she has been called as a prophet of God. And the prophets are rising up, ordinary people, but I say as the Father God, they are not ordinary. I tell you in spirit and in truth that they are called to rise up and speak my words to the nations, to America, to the people who have ears to hear and eyes to see and voices to also speak the words that need to be heard to resonate among the nations that the father of all creation is speaking. You wonder why the hurricanes, you wonder why the earthquakes. I tell you, California will surely crack and I tell you, the economy will surely crash. For America must be reset. And America will be reset. And Trump is sounding the Trump for the second coming. And Trump, although hated by many, is my chosen man during this hour to bring America back from what is about to happen. For True humility must take place and true repentance must take place before America can rise to her position in the world where she needs to be. To stand by the apple of my eye, Israel, and be the protector of the apple of my eye, Israel, who in these end times will come to the knowledge of my son, Jesus. My people are already becoming one with the Gentiles in the knowledge of my son Jesus. And they will continue to see the truth as the truth is spoken forth throughout the nations. Time to rise, church. Time to rise, church. Repent from all your filthiness and allow me through my spirit to give you the power and the strength to move forward in these end times of tribulation as never before seen and never will be seen again. My spirit is heavy, bug. My spirit is heavy upon my children. 
who love me and those who hate me will continue to hate me. They will come against my prophets the same as they did and they will continue. You must begin to pray like never before and intercede for all my children for the time has come for my wrath to pour on the earth. It is time, it is time for for evil to be subdued and destroyed and to be reckoned with on the spiritual level that it has to be dealt with. And that can only come through prayer and supplication and fasting by my children. California, I gave you mercy and many of you came against my prophet and called her false because of it. I gave you mercy as the Lord God. I have spoken and I brought mercy to California for you to repent. And have you repented? You have not, says the Lord God Almighty. You have not. And I will surely crack your land. Your land will be cracked, says the Lord God, for the many souls that you destroyed with your abortions, calling them blobs of tissue, when in fact they were brought into life by my very purpose of bringing a man and a woman together, the seed and the egg being brought together, and my spirit of life being breathed into that being that should have been and was swept away as if it had no purpose. As if it had no purpose. Woe, woe, woe unto the nations that come against my words of truth. Woe unto the inhabitants that dwell in the nations that come at me as if I do not exist, that come at me as if I do not have the power to destroy. I have the power to destroy and I have the power to forgive. I am justice and I am mercy all wrapped up in one. And you will see, you will see my anointing get more and more powerful as time goes on in the earth. As my prophets are rising up, my unknowns are rising up, and those who have been nothing but ordinary people, most of their lives are rising up for my glory to shine on the earth during these last times, during these last times. Do not come at my prophets when they speak words of doom and destruction because of the lack of repentance, and then they obey, and I pull my hand back. For they have surely spoken my words of truth, and my mercy will surely step in when I see my people humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from my heaven. Then I will hear from my heaven, and I will heal your land. Then I will hear from my heaven and heal your land, says the Lord God Almighty. You must listen to my true prophets because they are the ones that I am rising up and not only are they rising up, I am pulling them together. They are connecting with one another because the the world has to hear them. The children have to hear them because those are the ones I am speaking through. Those are the ones that my truth is coming from. And those are the ones that are walking in my humility and my love. Thus saith the Lord God Almighty. Well, I can't even stand up here. I am like holding on right now. It is so strong right here up on this hill. I was getting this all morning. 
God blows me away with his awesomeness. And I'll tell you another thing. This prophet that called me last night said to me, he verified so many things to me. He said to me, I felt God was very sad. And I said, so did I, brother. He said, why is he sad? I said, I'll tell you why he's sad. Because he doesn't want to have to do this to wake up the church. But he has to do this. He has to do this. He doesn't want to. But he has to wake up the people. He has to do it. He has to do it. So don't think that God enjoys this. And don't think that he wants this to happen. Do you think God wants to pour his wrath on the earth? Do you think he wants to do this when he's all love? No. What is he going to do with evil? Think about this body of Christ. What is God going to do with evil and the evil people? What will he do? What can he do? He has to destroy it. It's that simple. He has no choice to destroy every ounce of evil on planet earth. Because Jesus is coming back to rule and reign. And we are going to be ruling and reigning with him. Those that go in the rapture. It's time. It's time. And I have to stay out of the way with my emotions. Because my emotions are my biggest hindrance. Because I get affected when people say, oh, I see hatred coming out of her eyes. And they just say these things that are so opposite of who I am. But this other prophet said to me, Lois, it's part of it. They did it to Jesus and they're going to do it to us. It's part of keeping us humble. It's part of realizing what you're dealing with out there. It's all part of it. So when you're getting judged and condemned, it's all part of it. And you've got to realize it. And keep on going and keep on moving forward and keep preaching the truth. No matter who tells you to stop, no matter who comes at you, I don't care if they're going to cut your head off. You go down professing Jesus Christ. If they put a gun to your head, you make sure you yell it loud and clear as you can. Whatever evil comes at you and tries to stop you, you keep on screaming the name of Jesus so that everybody can hear it across the nation. As they cut my head off, I will go down screaming the name of Jesus. Why? Because I love him with all that I am. And my life is his. There is nothing in this world that cuts it for me. Nothing. And he also said to me, I was just about to tell him on the phone, do you watch Sundar? I don't know, I know all the names, all I, all I get is Sundar. We know the guy from India. He says, I was, I was just about to tell him, and he says to me, before I was able to say the words, he says to me, you ever see Sundar? I said, brother, I was just about to say the same thing. So God was confirming everything. And he point blank said to me, you need to take your position. Now, take your position that they can follow you. One woman wrote to me, she says, you're like a shining light that we're supposed to follow. That's exactly what Kim Clement said about this woman. The very time that somebody sent it to me on my Facebook and I saw that, I was like, whoa. I knew the prophecies that God had said to me over the years. I had just published my book called Ember Lies. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. Am I trying to put myself on some pedestal? I am not. I am certainly not. I am just doing whatever the Lord tells me to do each and every day. And he told me to come up here and I'm just letting him speak. So it's time for the truth to get out of who each of us are and each of our positions as the body of Christ comes together in one mind and one accord and stops bickering, stops pointing fingers and stops trying to take each other down thinking we're doing the services for God. We're doing no service for God when we rip each other apart. I don't care if they're preaching false doctrine. I don't care if they're prosperity preachers and they're preaching the wrong gospel. Many of them love the Lord and they believe what they're saying. So God looks at the heart again. Remember that. He looks at the heart. And what is he doing? What is, the, what is the purpose of the Holy Spirit? To lead us to what? All truth. He's leading us to all truth. That what? The truth would set us free. We don't see it clearly, folks. One prophet's going to get one word and another prophet's going to get another word. And we come together and, yeah, amen, we come into agreement on them. The other prophet, the military man that's out there, he had four prophecies that are going to come to pass. I didn't get some of the ones, but I have had visions of tsunamis, some of the things that he said. So, when we recognize each other, watch out, world. 
as these prophets begin to recognize each other, watch out, planet Earth, because God is rising up his church, his people. And the world is going to hear us loud and clear in the name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. It's going to be heard, whether they want to hear it or not. And that's all I have to say today. Because God told me to come up here. He told me not to write this down today. He wanted it to come right out. And that's what I did. And get ready, California. Because the land is going to crack. And the earthquake did happen before the 23rd. And remember another thing, just because God puts a judgment out there, it doesn't mean it's going to come to pass. If his people humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways. That's why he puts them out there. He puts them out there so the people get fearful. So the people have fearful reverence of God. That's why he says these things. Because he will judge when he has to judge. Amen? Amen. And keep the prayers going especially for the prophets and the preachers, because the enemy is trying to attack. I was up cleaning my ceiling yesterday, and I was up on a step stool about this high off the ground, and I went to step down, and I don't know why I did this, but I missed the bottom step, and I went all the way down to the ground, and when I did that, I went flying sideways. I hit my ear, I hit my arm, I have a bruise here on my arm a little bit, but my angel protected me. Because I got up and I'm a little bit sore on the side, but God kept me safe. He kept me safe. So the devil doesn't want us to speak what we have to say. And the only thing to stop that, those attacks from happening, is our praying. Praying. When we don't pray like we're supposed to, it leaves an opening. It keeps the opening for the enemy to come in and trip us up and do the things that he does. Because it's... It's the power in the name of Jesus that stops him. And you have to be in the name of Jesus. Not just saying things out there. It's got to be one mind, one accord with the spirit of the living God. If God wants a judgment to come on the earth, you can rebuke it all day long, it's going to happen. Because he's using it for his purposes. So we have to be in one mind and one accord. And how do we know what that is? Through the prophets through the prophets they will speak the words of God and tell you the things that are going to happen and why they're going to why the Lord is doing these things judgments beginning we have till the end of this month the economy is I believe the earthquake is going to set this economy off because they're right now they're very nervous in California there's earthquakes going off everywhere everywhere so they're very nervous right now and what's going to happen is very much unrest is going to take place. And that's when the stock markets are going to go down the tubes. But it has to happen. God has to reset in order for him to raise us up. And um, the debt is so high right now, it's absolutely unbelievable. And matter of fact, Kim Clement also had a prophecy about that, the debt. Trump with a stone, he mentioned something about gold. I don't know. There were things out there that we might go back to the gold. Or he's going to use the gold to help us get out of debt. And it's so, it's so simple and ridiculous that they're going to say, are you serious? Kim Clement has a prophecy out there about that. Bo Polney, I'm going to mention his name too. He's also out there with all of this. He's been saying it for a while now. And he's been pretty on target with most of the things he said. And um, I'm pretty much set with him. In many ways, I believe what he's saying is the truth. So things are falling into place. And this is a good thing for America because we're going to come back and make America great. It's going to be make America faith again, which will bring America back. We're still going to have the judgments and the end times happening, but America will stand in one mind and one accord with God. And that's all we need to be in in order for America to be great. We don't have to have all these riches for America to be great. But America will come back. I don't know how strong America is going to get again. All I know is America is going to come back. And it's going to be the church. 
that rises up in America, that makes America faith again. Amen? Amen. And have a blessed day. And there's a link below if you want to go on um, our website and, and you could see my documentary. There's a lot of things on there. My, my, my books are on there. There's teachings on there. There's just different things. You could check the safe havens. Um, we're going to build these safe havens. I have people already looking to move here. I haven't even gone to closing on the land yet. We still need people to get involved. We're only two people up here doing the work of the Lord. This town is very religious, all right? And we're, we've been here for many years. And the reason I'm up here is because this is where the place is supposed to be. And another thing, Walton, the town that I'm in, you know what it's called? It was, it was, it was named by the Queen of England, the Lily of the Valley. This town is called the Lily of the Valley. Hmm, I wonder why God sent me here from Long Island, a town that I knew nothing about because he knew it was called the Lily of the Valley, and that was where he was gonna make his place of peace. Is that a mind blower or what? And in the book, my name is called Lily. Lily. That's not a coincidence either. We need to start thinking about things. They're not coincidence. So, have a blessed day. And I hope you got blown away by the spirit because I could barely stand. I still could barely stand. God bless you. And I do love everybody. And I, and I want to let you know, too, I have a lot of people sending me emails and sending me things. And I can't write to everybody. But I want you to know my heart is with everybody. Everybody. So don't think you're getting slighted by me because you're not. You're not. Because my spirit is one with the Father. And the Father's heart is with everybody. I only have enough capability as a human being to contact so many people. So I want you to understand that, that it's not because I'm rejecting this one or rejecting that one. I have a very busy day. And when you're a prophet of God, you have to be in the spirit. And I have it, my issue is I'm so busy, I haven't had even enough time to be in the spirit. I see these guys, you know, Sunday goes up to Mount Sinai for, for hours and days, and I need, to, I need to be spending more time in the spirit. So God is going to start bringing people in and putting things in order so the prophets can be the prophets, the teachers can be the teachers, and we can all have our places. Amen. And I love you all, and God bless you.